going on guys? Keytorx6 here back for another third party review and the time is upon us. We're gonna finally see Warbatron in his full glory otherwise known as Bruticus. Uh, it is easiest to start with everyone in their robot modes. And just for reference in the background and part of the intro screen at least as much of it as you could is all five boxes stacked together to make just a, a beautiful piece of artwork. Uh, really cool. Uh, a shame that there's kind of lines in between. I wouldn't mind if they released like a wallpaper for your computer or something like that that, you know, takes away the lines and just lets the, the art be, you know, art. Uh, yeah, so let's actually switch these guys into their individual pieces and we'll do each one separately. Um, last week on the Fierce Attack video I asked what these pieces were. Uh, I posted it today as I'm filming this and I know exactly what they are. I'm sure I'll get some responses, but inside the foot here to kind of make this a little detail uh, is this piece like this inside. Uh, you can see the parts that stick out to fill in this little detail. And so this actually works with this ratchet tooth to uh, be your ankle tilt. Uh, yeah, that's not necessarily the greatest thing in the world because You've made your ankle tilt a clear piece of plastic, which is extremely prone to breaking. And you can see I actually have barely used my ankle tilts. I think I've clicked it once total. And once I realized what that was, uh, yeah, looking right in, you can see it's already stressing and getting ready to crack. And this is on both feet. This one actually looks better. Um, but if I ugh, push it out like that, you can actually see, maybe you can't because of the light uh, not being set up right, but inside there that piece is most definitely stressed also. Now these new ones, I have no idea if they are, you know, better at made, maybe uh, less uh, volume, uh, less of a distance on this tab or whatever, but it is most definitely a different shade of orange, uh, surprisingly. So um, I don't know if the camera is going to pick that up but they are definitely different. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna install these, I don't know how they'll go, but we will discuss the rest of Warbitron here with the new ones in. I just kinda wanted to show you where they go. And honestly, I think you could probably still support the combiner uh, on an ankle tilt without any ratchet in there. So if it does break, I don't really think it's the end of the world. It's just not gonna ratchet back. Alright, so it makes the most sense to start with the feet and as you saw uh, between the intro and now these little pieces here uh, they do make it a little better but they still don't convince me that they're not gonna break and I'm also not convinced that you really need them in the grand scheme of things. Uh, and also I put on the pad here that came in here uh, it's a weird one it doesn't seem to grip that well like it still slides around pretty smoothly uh, I guess a little better than the smooth plastic, so it might help, but I'm not convinced. And uh, if you do need to take this apart ever to replace the inside things, yeah, you'll have to exacto this in half if you want to keep it on there. But, I mean, this type of tape is pretty easy to find in the store. Anyway, getting on the brawl, he's probably the more extensive of the two feet, because you do have to take him and transform him a tiny bit more. Um, you have to take, tear it off. and pop these legs in half here. Um, you don't need to go too much further than that and then just kind of plug in the combiner leg down here and close this back together. And uh, unlike you know the TFC combiners these guys are not Scramble City. There is well technically two ways you can put them on. Uh, the right way that they're supposed to go and then you know the opposite uh, i.e. Brawl can only be a leg, uh, which one you make it is up to you, but really there's only one right way. So we have them right there. Uh, we take this piece, angle it back, angle this forward, and plug it right back on in here, just like this to give us something like that going on. We come down here and we fold this on in, and you can just fold it down all the way just like that. Uh, you can even just fold that flat if you if you really want to. Whatever you want to do and that is his combiner. This is Swindle. Very easy on Swindle. Again just split this so we can get the combiner portion right on in there. Close it so unlike Brawl we didn't have to take anything apart on the top. Coming up to the top uh, disconnect the front of the Jeep and just kind of fold it down like this. 
uh, I know, Hummer, whatever. Military vehicle. <laughs> Take this. Uh, you can fold this all the way in just like this and do what you want with the wheels. They don't peg in anywhere anymore, but putting them right back up so it looks like this from the front is totally fine. And that's Swindle. When it comes to blast off and vortex, it gets a little bit more difficult only because you have more to move. So we can take this, we fold this on up, and the combiner port comes out here. Now, if you did put the replacement chest on here, just for reference, uh, this goes up, and then this makes a nice ratcheted piece as opposed to the unratcheted piece. So clearly uh, they did a little work running design change along the way uh, with blast off here uh, which is for the better. I mean this this still works but that is most definitely better. Uh, the next thing you do here is you do have to take these off and I found no place to put these in the combined mode uh, so that kind of stinks. Next we will well, let's fold in his wing so we have less that we're gonna mess with as we're moving things around. Uh, we'll take these and we'll extend his legs on out because as you can expect they're gonna end up making his uh, arm there. Uh, we can fold the wings all the way on in just like you would uh, to put him into his robot mode. So just like this. And you do have some options here and we'll get to that in a second. We'll split this. Whoops. I mean, knock the camera there. Give him his fist, which, uh, like I said in the fierce attack video, let's bring the other fist out. While it looks like this is a ratcheted joint, uh, it is squared right there, and you cannot move that that wrist. So, just be aware of that. Don't try to force it. Just like that. So when it comes to the arms, this is where it kind of gets to be sort of a suggestion. If you find something that you like to do here. Uh, do what it, what you prefer. Uh, I'm just gonna do what the instructions seem to say, uh, which is to flip this up, take this, close this on up, and then kind of. Uh, I I mean, see, it's kind of confusing because even I don't quite understand what they're going for here. They kind of tell you to take this down and just kind of like fold it up like this like it just doesn't look really good to me um, I suppose you could flip it this way uh, like that it's not terribly compact but I mean that's kinda the best you're gonna get to make things look not so sloppy so that tends to be the way I go for this so let's do that for the other side here um, take this Bring this down, flip the shoulder upside down so you can bring this thing back up like this and then kind of angle it in. And uh, I do believe they actually tell you to put the shoulders down uh, now that I think more about it. But yeah, that's, that's pretty much it and I don't know how you could make that better. Um, I suppose you could leave these pieces transformed and hanging down back there. But uh, I guess it's up to you what your aesthetic tastes tell you looks best. And now here you go. You've got, uh, as you would expect, his his arm just like this. Um, you got to peg his feet in a little bit better here so that doesn't happen. There we go. So you got his arm just like this. And you do have a single elbow just like this. Now, for me personally, I like to flip it the other way, like this, uh, and then you also get the benefit of the knee in double joining his elbow. So for me, I think that's better, and then all you really have to do is... And finally, we've got Vortex here, and he's not too terribly difficult, but I think there's better aesthetic choices that can be done. Uh, you fold in those flaps, you take these so the guns are facing backwards, upside down, just like this. And that is it. Just kind of, well, for the top part of his shoulders, I should say that is it. For the entire thing, of course, that's not it. Uh, we open this on up. Take these panels, just like you're going to his robot mode here. Plug that back in. There we go. 
and I've seen some pictures online where other people kind of, you know, have things angled up a little bit to make them a little more compact. You really do have a good number of options for what to do. But anyway, take this, split the tail just like this. Like, I mean, really, legitimately, we're just going right back to his robot mode here. Um, where we take all this stuff, kind of fold it up on each side. And we'll deal with that in a second. Take that just like this. Leave that here. Bring out the combiner peg. I really can't stand these little guns. I wish they were pegged in better. Uh, as we get down here, you have to rotate the foot so it has the right pieces out. And again, I like to use the knees as the com uh, as the actual uh, elbow. So you got this. We'll rotate that up. Um, take this foot, rotate it all the way around, and kind of work it until you can get it to collapse in like this and fold it up to just get it out of the way. Uh, so let's show that again. Kind of take it and fold it around and up. And then these little guys, you twist the black piece and the best you can really do to get them out of the way is to just kind of leave them angled up there. But I find they don't really tend to get in the way too much. So I'll put that on again. And we'll close this on up. Just like this. And then I'll attach the guns off screen because you don't need to see it. And uh, you can do what you want with these feet. If you don't mind them just sitting back like that, that's fine if you want to angle them forward. Also fine, it really doesn't hamper the hand wherever it is. So do what you want with those pieces. And the final piece of the puzzle here is of course Onslaught. So we'll start by taking out his trailer. If you don't have it in already, if you do, take it out obviously. Fold this closed here, like this. There we go. Unplug these. You can actually, we'll take these off just for now. Um, we'll put them back on in combined mode. You don't even need to put them on at all if you don't want to. But fold them down like this for now. Open these pieces on up. Just like we're going to his robot mode. Unpeg these pieces here. Undo the shoulders, just like this. And we don't need to pull the wheels out, just leave the wheels where they are. Take this, fold it on to the front here, getting it around all the pieces. Once again, just like robot mode. Now, we're gonna spin these so the front of the truck comes forward and I have to grease this one a little. This one I did earlier, it sounded horrible, um, but problem solved. So you got that going on. Now we come to the back here. And you got, well obviously Bruticus's head. We're gonna open that and we'll flip that up and we will fix his little head crest thing. Take these, fold them all the way on in, and then the most cooperative these will ever be in their life is to just fold close like that. And you'll see that reveals these. These are ingenious. I mean, all they are are just little things to clip there that prevent these from rotating at all. I mean, that is one of the smartest pieces of combiner engineering I've seen, and it's so simplistic. It's not even funny how simple that is. So once we've got the back all pegged in like this, the next thing to really do is to flip his waist around and undo this joint right here in the front. Now we're gonna take his legs and we're gonna fold them up. Uh, but before I fold them up, I always forget this piece. You wanna take this back wheel here and detach it and fold it on down. It's gonna make everything fit a little bit nicer if you uh, give that space there. And you got these pegs here and those peg holes there. Um, again, Stress City Warbitron, you see that they're already stressed, but you know, I really don't think that the stress in the peg hole is going to actually really affect anything. Get your arms out of the way as you need to and take these and just plug it right on into that hole there and then from here you just basically do what you want to with the arms to fold them. Uh, 
kind of in so you can't really see them too much. And that is pretty much all we've got to do with the fierce attack body. Uh, we're not quite done. We just have the last piece where you take this, flip this little side panel out, flip this, and this is pretty well engineered too. Uh, it is a ratchet joint, but for the first little bit, there is no ratchet until you get to about the halfway, and then it ratchets down in place. So that's pretty smart, and you can close that back closed and just kind of leave that angled down like this. So once again, pop this open like this. Take this. Ratchet. Bring it closed. And you're done with that. And we'll we'll attach the guns and stuff after. Uh, I mean, we're just done transforming this part. So put that to the side, and then we're on to the trailer. And the trailer is relatively simplistic. Also, first thing we're gonna do, get these little uh, waist guard pieces out of here if they're not already, and open up this piece just like that. Take the top compress it on down so it's nice and solid just like that flip this bring these on up and bring these very heavy duty joints in together and you'll see the two ports here this is going to come right down and help lock this all in together to make a nice solid piece coming down here take these fold them all the way down like so open up these little panels Fold this on up, plug in the front half to the back half, and you can open these if you do need to apply a little bit of extra force, and angle them on down. Like that. And you know what? We're pretty ready to combine. All we've got to do is take this and plug it into the onslaught body just like that and uh, let's get this bad boy combined so of course we'll start with brawl here I've got him backwards because I want to show you uh, if you do have trouble getting this in uh, you're good to about there and the combiner peg kinda stops you uh, brawl's port is a little bit tighter you could put some oil in there if you want but the thing to do is kinda push that combiner peg on in so it goes past and then put it, push it till it gets down there. And uh, again, it is a little bit tight. Brawl is definitely tighter than Swindle. Here we got Swindle. And put it in. Push the little combiner peg on in so it goes in easier. Done. This guy, as you can tell, is a pretty big monstrosity. So you'll take your arms and they peg in just fine. Just slide them on into the side sockets just like that. Really no issues with the arms. They are perfectly well engineered. And there we go. We've got our Bruticus. The only thing we're missing is this chest piece here, which we're going to take. And you got this peg here. It's going to go in there. These two pieces here will go into these tabs up here. And we just fold the wings out like this. If you prefer a flat look, you can make it flat. If you want the 3D type look, uh, like they have in the instructions, kind of do that. And just plug it right on in. And there we go. And we've even got a spot for either an Autobot or a Decepticon symbol by the looks of it. Uh, you could put whatever you want there, I guess. Uh, for just the extra armament, I'm going to take these little missiles and just put them on his back flaps. Just like that, we don't really need to, but why not? It doesn't hurt to be extra well armed. We've got, of course, what is our Bruticus without his back cannons. So, just like you would have to do in truck mode like this, you gotta take them apart. Nope. I'm sorry, you don't take them apart in this mode. Um, I always end up forgetting that. You do keep them together as one piece and instead you'll use these pegs here and they just kind of peg right into here and then the back ones just kind of sit to the side I guess to laterally support it so that gives you 
the dual cannons on the back look. And that's the Bruticus that, you know, I know and love. And then, of course, you got the gun. And, you know, I really don't know why you would want the gun to do this. Uh, I can't find a good reason that you really need this gun to fold up all like that. But you do have the options. I just usually keep this kind of like that because I find it easiest to get into his hand. And you can take it and you can plug it right on in here. Um, the bottom hole on his hand doesn't work. You always have to have the bottom of the gun uh, gripped in his fingers there. Would have been nice if this was, you know, a little bit bigger so it worked. I mean, we can't even slide it down any because the peg is too small. But, I mean, once it's in his hand, who really cares what the bottom of his hand looks right, like, right? I mean, he's now got his giant cannon and looks good doing it. So let's talk articulation here. The uh, head is on the black plate swiveling left and right and then you get the up and down of the transformation. Uh, it is a little bit disappointing that you can't make them look towards the ground all menacing like a combiner should but you know it's really not that bad. The articulation here minding these guns that fall out um, you do have the side to side from the combiner port and then the 360 from the combiner port just like so um, your elbow articulation depending which way you did it you're either gonna have a really nice range of motion out of the arm or a slightly more limited range of motion uh, out of the arm I will say that um, I think one of the improvements you get with the the vortex, uh, the blast off side of things is also, and we're gonna check. Yes, you get the ratcheted hips. Um, as it is, this arm is super floppy because there's no ratchets in there. So I'm most definitely gonna have to do the torso upgrade. Uh, yeah, coming down here, nice, nice waist rotation, no problems there. Um, individual fingers. Don't mind the individual fingers on a big combiner like this, and I like when they're pegged instead of the stupid ball joint, so I'm okay with that. Uh, ball jointed individual thumb, perfectly fine. Down to the legs here, getting the skirt armor out of the way. Plenty of rotation backwards. Pretty good rotation forward. Just fine side to side. Um, this guy can most definitely get articulation out of his leg. Let's see if I can back that up to kind of show you what's going on. Don't mind my desk and stuff. But yeah, he's got plenty of articulation out of his leg if you really want him to. So, quite poseable. So back on track with the articulation. Uh, the knee is provided by the trailer. Stiff makes the backpack fall off but totally functional uh, works just fine and for the foot uh, the foot is scary you do get the forward and back good range of motion and then that side to side which like I said is a little bit scary so I don't really want to flex that too much but overall I mean this guy's got quite the set of articulation that you can get him into some really just menacing looking poses where he's getting ready to step on some Autobots or you know whatever he looks just super impressive on a shelf and uh, I suppose you do kind of get the downward look on his face when you end up kind of you know bringing one knee forward and stuff like that so let me put the pieces that fell off this gun in the backpack thing on and we'll get some combiners for a comparison. So let's just get these out of the way for reference and you can see uh, Orion sitting there to the left and Mania King. Here is a slightly less bad looking uh, Combiner Wars Menasaur. Uh, if you don't do the legs right you can extend out his torso and it looks quite a bit better. And here is a silver bolt I promised I would never get. Uh, with the Protectobots as combiner limbs. I know what you're saying. You're saying who cares about combiner wars limbs? Most people don't spend the money to get a third party combiner and display them next to combiners wars. So here is TFC Prometheus, the fans project, 
ton of cons. TFC Superion. We falling over. Let's see, does he knock off? Feral Rex is the largest combiner. Yeah, he does. Feral Rex has lost that crown. Maybe those don't tell you as much as you want. Uh, here he is next to the Hasbro uh, Metroplex. And you can see the size difference between them is not huge. I mean, certainly Metroplex is bigger, but not as big as I expected it to be. And of course, the one that just really kind of blew me away, the first combiner I ever purchased third party, there is Hercules looking awfully shrimpy next to Warbitron and not anywhere as close to the character it's representing as Warbitron. And then let's just end this by, if you are a masterpiece collector, honestly, that scaling does not look horrible. Um, you know, I think maybe he looks a little bit better just for, you know, for clarity. Let's let's bring Orion in here. I think he may look a little bit better with Orion scaled figures, uh, given you know the size of the actual toys and stuff. But uh, combined, I mean, you know, the combiners were you know maybe two times the size of a regular Autobot, um, so it's really not bad. Maybe three times. Um, I think this actually looks pretty good with that. Optimus may be a little bit big, but you know, in combined mode, I think it works. Uh, it'd be scary to think about how big an actual masterpiece, you know, MP10 sized uh, onslaught body with, you know, appropriate limbs would be. That sucker would be huge. So, yeah, so in conclusion, let's just end this here instead of rambling on. I really like this set. It is. Probably my favorite combiner I own at this point. It does have problems. It does need things to be fixed to, you know, lessen squeaks, kind of not let things kind of stress out or break. Uh, but they're all relatively simple fixes, and in most cases, they've provided extra parts to make everything better. So I, I really can't complain about it. Uh, I hope Orbitron learns from their mistakes and, uh, you know, I really hope Computron is equally as massive and impressive. And uh, if Lightspeed or uh, is it Lightspeed? I can't. Afterburner. Yeah, Afterburner is any indication. Uh, you know, he's gonna be. So look forward to Afterburner review soon. And uh, if you do have the means to get the Warbitron set, do it. This is T2RX6. I'll see you guys next time.